Hey guys, how's the game going? So it's day five on the Hokkaido trip and we're just leaving the spot where we slept last night. <laughs> slept really well last night again. Nobody came at all, it was only us there in the car park with the toilet. Well, it's sunrise now. I'm gonna go down to that gate before we head up to the most northern point in Japan. So we just did a little time lapse of the gate. Kind of nice, I don't know, there's something nice about it. It's only very simple, but it was good. And now, time to head right up to the top of the coast and hopefully if it's a clear day up there, we'll be able to see Russia. I'd love to be able to see Russia today. Let's go. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we're gonna do before we get right to the north to see Russia, hopefully. And that's just some kind of a nice viewpoint to see like a mini Mount Fuji on an island. And then there's like a trail, which is made out of smashed up scallop shells. So it's all like white. After we see the view of Russia, there's a place what's famous for scallop ramen. And I love scallops. All right, so we're getting to the viewpoint of that little Fuji on the island over there. The first stop before we get to the most northerly point of Japan. Looks like a little observatory deck thing that we have to walk up and get the view. You have arrived at the destination. I don't know if it's the time of year or what, but we seem to be getting really lucky with everything we come to, which is a really touristy spot in Hokkaido. It's empty. Most like there's literally nobody here. I'm surprised. I mean, it's fairly early, it's half past eight. So, I don't know if it's the time of year, the time that we get in here, but I'm happy about it. Time to fill up again. This is a really cheap gas station, this one. Up to now we've spent about 5,000 yen on fuel. So you pay at the, at the actual machine, not inside. So you have to touch this first for some reason. It's like a gun. To get your change, you have to scan your barcode in here. Alright, so we filled the car up again. Now we are really close to the top part of Japan, the north end. So there's like a massive tsunami storm prevention thing over there what we're gonna go and look at but there's a little fish market that we might walk around because I think we're in the famous kind of scallop area already This is the big storm structure, the tsunami protection thing. 
the big one, biggest one I've ever seen. So just over here should be that white road, the um, made out of all the scallop shells. There it is. Hi, it looks like a beach. All right, so we're just coming to the end of the scallop road now, and it's time to go and see Russia. It's a clear day, so I can't imagine us not being able to see it. We should be there pretty soon. So there we go, there's Russia over there. All right, we just checked out Russia there, and now we're looking for that special scallop ramen place. It's somewhere around here. It's only open for six months of the year. It closes in the winter. It's a really famous one. The scallop place is just there. This is called World Peace Bell. So we checked out Russia, we had the scallop ramen, probably the best ramen I've ever had in my life, at least joint first with the prawn ramen in Sapporo, but now we're heading down south and then find the camping tonight. I want to cover quite a lot of ground again today. Okay, so we got to the scallop place, but it's it's not that good, it's a bit of a touristy thing. What well, we've, we've decided where we're gonna stay, it's kind of far from here also, is Hokkaido, and we're gonna try and do a big chunk of it so we can stay like on target to where we wanna be. So we're going from here to here, and then we will obviously stop at some kind of a supermarket, something, get food for later on. We might get there when it's dark, I don't know. All right, so we're getting close to the spot where we're gonna be sleeping tonight, but we had to mess around on the way charging up the laptop 
So because it's been running so low, we had to find one of them convenience stores again. And not all of them have that little cafe area where you can plug in and charge. So we went to about five different ones until we found one, which we eventually did. Stayed in there for about half an hour to charge the laptop. And so we're gonna arrive at our destination tonight at the night time, which is fine. Apart from, apparently there's a lot of mosquitoes there. But we'll find a good place, park up, have a sleep, wake up, and then tomorrow should be a good day again. We'll be there soon. All right, so we've decided to stay here tonight. It's like a mini little theme park. I'll go on that Ferris wheel thing in the morning. I didn't think it was gonna be like this, but kind of looks like a decent place to sleep. I'm just trying to look for the toilet so that we can park up near there. There's a few cars here, so maybe other people are gonna sleep here as well. I don't know. All right, this looks good. This will do. Okay, so we've set up the van, put all the heat foil stuff in there. And luckily this place, it's open 24-7. There's a toilet in there, so we don't have to worry about a toilet. There's some vending machines so I can get a drink because I bought some whiskey for tonight, Japanese whiskey. So I'm just gonna choose a random drink to mix it with. Big driving today, that was good. It's exactly what I wanted to do. I've been trying to do that most days, but it never really worked out, but today it worked out. Celebrate with some whiskey. Oh, it's good. It tastes like orange juice. Well, look at the color of it. So we set it all up, so you can't really see it anymore. It's, it's way better than what we was first doing. There's the house. All right, so that's the end of day five. We're just gonna get in the van, do a bit of internet stuff, have a few drinks, got a little bit of food. We got some sushi here, that we're gonna munch on tonight. And then we'll see you in the morning, I guess. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 